welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a how-to video. So, if you guys want to know how to do a gut and go, this is a video for you. I know it's a little different than what we normally been doing, but we we're gonna race this weekend. Then we got the looking. There was no other track that was racing sides for the track that we normally race at. So everyone that race at Brownstown or other places, they were going to go to North Vernon. And we got a parade next weekend for the Scottsburg Fair. And we didn't want to destroy the car or hurt the car where we can't be in the parade or can't race that day. So... We are going to do this, how to build a gut and go Ugh. over at Brad's. So I am driving right now. I'm in the missus car because she has AC and I don't. And you guys won't be able to hear me if I'm in my truck. So once we get there, I'll catch you guys. I'll catch you guys in a flash. Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it. It's been a while. It's been, I don't know, how many months has it been? Do we do anything at your house? No. Oh, you've been. That's good. The last time we changed the motor in the car, well, not the last time, the head gasket. Yeah. That won't happen. All right, so we are out here at Brad's. He's over here working. Let's go see what he's doing. Guy, huh? Oh yeah, we don't need these where we're going. Nope. Oh yeah? Ow! You wouldn't know about that at home. Why? Because yours is small. Yes. I don't have this big area. Yeah. Narrow. Narrow walls. Friday night car for the uh, my 
like special services like fire department, police department, army, and stuff like that. So don't look at me, look at them. Uh -huh. Looking over here somewhere. But Brad has to put a plate on the front of that one and load the rear end up. But anyways, for a how-to video, William kind of got here late on the other one that's leaving. So basically, you have to get you a car. No, no. So this is one of my fans. She is subscribed. So this is her car, <laughs> and this is how to build a gut and go. Yeah, this is a youth gut and go car. This is actually my sister. But basically, you just get you a car. It runs. Yeah, it runs, dries like that crumbled up thing. So you got to take the windows out of it. You take all the interior out of it, anything plastic and stuff. But in this, as you can tell, has two seats because Braddy Boy gets to ride with her. But, and you can leave the dash in these. But you have to take everything else out of it and you got to put a sidebar in here and over there. And you can put a rollover bar and stuff, it's optional. Moving the fuel tank in the youth class is optional too, I believe. Oh, really? Mm hmm But I think they're going to move it on this car. But I don't know, because I think it sits like... It's right here. Yeah, yeah, like... There's a wire. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. In. I think it's right... So it's probably right there where that... Yeah, little, uh, probably right in there. But basically, that's all you do, and you just wire the door shut or tape them shut. That's all you can do on this. You can't change the bumpers or nothing. And you want to put steel rims on them. Why not aluminum? Break, crack. So you need to tell him I just did. No, you did. William here was supposed to go so, racing today. We're supposed to go racing. But I already told you guys why. Because he's behind and we might be buying a new car. I know what that car is. Just leave it like that. I already know what it looks like too. Oh yeah? Watch out there's a exhaust God there. Dang. William put this damn thing, damn trip hazard. Oh that's all the junk out of that car too. And you gotta cut the exhaust, you know, you gotta make it loud. Oh yeah, if it ain't loud, then you ain't proud. Right? That's right. So you gotta take the airbags out. You better be quite a high-tech film guy. I'm recording for this guy. Yeah. Tech tip from Pops. Tech tip from Pops. Pops, you got a tech tip? Right. Talking to... Yeah. You wanna give anybody a tip? He ain't gonna watch this, but I'm gonna tell you guys something. If you ain't in turtle mode, you ain't gonna last. So you better go full throttle. Yeah, but, full not, but if you're not pops, that's not on us. It's pointing that way. What are you doing? Uh, oh. But no, pops, that's turtle mode. Pops is turtle mode? Yeah, when you put a big turtle on the side of his. But we're all running pro mod show. Pro mod cars, you can do a lot more than these little cars over here. Go show them yours. Show them mine? Yeah, just to. So on these cars, you can put. Um, lift spindles on them. You We're change. Showing. Nah, I can't be showing. Oh, okay. Can't be. That's my good stuff. Okay. Uh, but well, he put, doesn't have a motor. He doesn't have a motor. I do have a motor. Let's see, there's no motor or hey, tranny. It's at home. Well, why ain't it here? Because it ain't together yet. <laughs> You're interrupting my. But you can put lift spindles on these. You can change the rear ends. Our class, you can put the cage about however the heck you want it. Um, we can run any drives, train swap. So you can like we run Chevy stuff and Ford cars, big beefy bumpers, all the fun stuff. And what's the easiest way to get the windshields out for the gut and goes? Um, the easiest way is a window cutter. Well, if they if don't you, have window cutter, if you don't have one, take a saw saw and go with the like the trim of the window. No, you tape. Tape the whole. No, I'm talking about out. if you're cutting the like the front one out. Yeah. Now the know. back one, you want to tape. Tape it on the inside and outside, then you tap the corners and break it, and then go around with a knife and cut it. But gun goes are basic. Besides what you said earlier. <laughs> well, these people that watch are race fans. But this guy don't go to races, so they ain't getting yeah, seen much races. Yeah. And the second time he blew it up. Good catch, Jeff. 
me for like going to inspection or like just building it. Anything. I would say probably building it. Building it. Building it, I would say uh, just make sure you get some make good and weld. Uh, that's the main thing. And uh, take all the loose debris out. Because otherwise, you're going to get hit in the back of the head with a freaking piece of metal. Well, you, you have a helmet on. The back of your head's covered. See the front. Yeah, but if it's a thin piece of metal, it'd it's be gonna hurt. It's gonna Either hurt. way, anything can happen. Hey, like Brad, Brad ran my car one time. We welded in with that little welder, that little uh, exhaust welder. Sidebar came out and went under your seat. So if you guys can see that right there, the frame's rusted out. And that's another thing you don't want with these cars, you don't want them rusty. So we have to plate that up, because if not, this thing will take one hit right there, and this whole side will go straight up in the air, and you don't want that. So Also, when you're looking for a car, if you want to do derby, make sure it's got a clean frame. You don't want none of that. All right, so you guys always want to do safety first. Either put a jack stand or two tires. That way, if it does fall, it's gonna lay on the tires and not gonna smash your legs or even kill somebody. So Brad was thinking good, he was he's safe. So we all know he's safe today. But hard telling because Brad can do whatever he wants. He could be unsafe tomorrow. Today he's safe. OSHA approved right here. This is OSHA approved. Alright, so Brad is going to be cutting these little pieces of metal to brace that frame up. This is all OSHA proof. He has his boots on. He has his safety glasses on. I got my work boots on. He got his gloves on. So this is all OSHA proof. safety first you yeah, said that in their good time too video. as soon as i turned it on he said safety, safety first, first. <laughs> normally you want to use a you know brake cleaner not starting fluid but you know safety first safety first gotta get started <laughs> starting fluid evaporate pretty quick but, but the way, the way to get it on start put all the fumes to be up in the house <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure you start it. Mm. If you ain't started, then you ain't going nowhere. Sure ain't. Brad loves to doing diff stuff. He loves the smell of 90 weight. What are you feeling today? 30 or 40 weight? <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, can you get me the welder? Mm. It's over here. I just need it turned around facing this way. That way I can strike hard and watch it go boom. So, what are you doing, Brad? I'm all weld this for and up so these wheels are spinning at the same time. Sound good? Sounds good to me. It is never good if you only got one wheel spinning. That's almost like, well, I couldn't say what it's like to this bag. It's not YouTube approved. Correct. 
So we're going to see if we get a big bang or nothing. Hey, you got to turn it on. And you got to put it down. Put it down. Mikey's first time, you know. Today, Junior. Oh, that'll work too. It's a tiny way. Oh, yeah. I need my welding helmet. Uh, helmet. What book are you doing? What book are you doing? Maggie. What? Beat him up. Beat him up. Contact! Mikey, look at the blue lights. Yeah. I heard something go, oof. Yeah. <laughs>
But I was hoping we'd have some pictures of the Bucks in velvet. I really like that. So I'm gonna have to get my camera, figure out why it's not working. The batteries are fully charged. So because I'm pretty sure that one is a buck. Comment below if you guys think that's a bug, but I'm not for sure because, I mean, see his body mass and his ears are back, uh, but see that, I know it's a devil. So. Sorry for you guys. We're hoping that you guys were gonna have that good quality pictures. Oh, that one's flying. It's gonna go see Santa. Anyways, here I can show you guys some good pictures that I do have from not this property, but from. Uh, From the property that I hunted on last year. Oh, shit. Shoot. Shoot. Electric mortgage. Alright, I found one that you guys can see, I think. As soon as it loads. My computer is so high tech. Ooh, see, that one's in velvet. There he is again. Is that the same day? See the antlers there. See, my other property, I have a, a pipe coming down. I put corn in so I can see. I got a trophy rock right there. They love that. So I can get you guys a good picture. Oh, that's all of them. Okay, let's see. Here is the big mammoth that we had. Look at that guy. He's huge. Whoa. So. We did not get opportunity to shoot him in 2017, but he is huge. And this one is an oddball because, as you can see, he has a main beam coming out, and this one has two main beams coming out. He has two antlers on one ear, one side. Right there's a little better picture. See, there's one, there's one, and there's the main one. But there he is again. He's huge. We want. I wanted to shoot him, but he's smart. I don't know how old he is, but. <laughs> all right, guys. So, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys all on the next one. And 